Coronal mass ejections are huge bubbles of gas threaded through with magnetic field lines. We got a taste of how powerful such an event can be in July 2012. The NASA Stereo A spacecraft recorded two small coronal mass ejections followed by a Carrington scale blast. Had this event occurred a week earlier, it might have hit us with catastrophic effects. Scientists used it as a test case for understanding the behavior of Earth's magnetosphere under a powerful solar onslaught. A computer model shows a normal day. The solar wind flows continuously past the Earth, distorting its magnetic field and pulling it around the back in a tail-like structure. A typical coronal mass ejection pushes Earth's field in and lengthens its tail. The magnetosphere remains largely intact. A Carrington scale event is a different story. It severely compresses Earth's magnetic field while packing the boundary with plasma. To find out how this plasma actually reaches Earth, scientists have simulated its approach in one of the largest solar computer models ever produced. The solar plasma heads toward our planet aboard streams of magnetic field, shown in blue. On its leading edge, where it pushes up against Earth's magnetic field, turbulence develops. Cracks begin to open up in Earth's protective armor. The fissures widen. Millions of tons of electrified gas now surge through in jet-like flows that can engulf the planet. Solar storms like the one documented by Richard Carrington in 1859 are thought to hit Earth about every 150 years. At that rate, we may be due for another.